I am the one you looking for. The Messiah is here. Shalom. Peace be upon you from the father of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. I have a lot of things to tell you, and I'm going to try my best to, to put everything together to make you understand. Now, this video is going to be a very powerful video, and I'm going to go ahead and open everything what my father has revealed me. So you can understand that every time I tell you that, you know, I will tell you next time, I will tell you next time. But today I'm going to tell you a lot of things. So tune in. Watch this video all the way. Do not just click it. And when you understand and when you see what I'm talking about, please put thumbs up. L send me the comments. Let me know you are watching because more you send me the comments, that way I know that a lot of people are coming to know who I am. So today, let's start with what happened in last week. The last week, I had an investigation interview from Rabbi Asher Meza. It was a young guy. I guess he has a channel of uh, Judaism Torah.com. And he generally takes the interviews of the people that he thinks they are religious. I am, he didn't took my interview as a religious person. I know what he took my interview for to find out why am I telling you guys I am the Moshe. Now, he took my interview also because people started to know who I am, and they all are discussing what's going on. Because I am what I am telling you, and it's never going to change, and you're never going to find. Now, the, on the interview, there is a, it wasn't a big interview and it wasn't very comfortable for me that time because it was very quick that interview happened. We didn't have enough chance or my guy who, who set up everything with him, uh, he gave me very little time. So we had uh, to, it was very uncomfortable for me, but I did it anyway. So there are a few questions that he was asking me, and he was very insisting on those questions. The one of the questions he was telling, asking about the hell. He said about three or four times that if we do not believe you, that means we are all going to go to hell. Now, I didn't say you are going, going to go to the hell. Because remember, and I'm going to give you all the answer through the word. So you need to understand that I just don't tell you what other rabbis, what they want to tell you. Now, this is what happened. The hell and heaven is real. And there are a lot of people will end up in hell. But remember, in Daniel chapter 7, 9, it's a book will be open. Book will be open and people will be judged. You all will come from front of the father or front of the son where all these angels behind the son minister to him and the book will open. Your name will be there. Your, your, uh, the what you did good and bad will be written inside. And according to that, you may be judged. And you may be, and our God is a merciful God and he will just, you know, set you free. But the one thing for sure, that whoever believes his son, because you all are waiting for your Moshe. And redemption is through your Moshiach. You know that. You know it is in the word that Moshiach will bring the redemption. 
Moshiach will build the temple. Moshiach will bring you back to Israel and Moshiach will teach you the Torah and the Torah will go all over the world from the Jew. Now all those things is written. So hell and heaven is real. You may not go to the hell, but you may be judged according to your deeds and maybe you are in the second class because the first class is whoever believes the Son. Now, in Christianity, they believe by faith. Their Messiah, they believe by faith. In fact, they said, uh, the uh, uh, blessed are those who have not seen and believe. In your case, the Moshiach is right now front of you, God, send your Moshiach. He is here, he is front of you, and he's telling you again and again and again that I, God, have sent me to you to take you back. Now, listen. I watched other day another one of the video, and Muslim believes that their Mehdi will come in the masjid, their Mehdi, and he is the one their Moshia. And for you, you know, the word says that Moshia will come from the son of King David, from his own loin. God has promised you, God has promised you, your Moshia will come, and I am here. Now, listen, that could be plan A. In the past, something happened. This is the B plan, the B plan that probably you. Just a scenario. Let's see you didn't believe that time. And God knew it that you're not going to believe. God knew it. Just he was testing. That was the A plan. But the B plan was he told you that your Moshiach will come. Even the Moses said the prophet will rise among you. I am not Jesus. I told you 100 times because he said he knew no sin become a sinner. I have seen, I have seen, and I'm going to tell you the truth, that I am the sinner. So I cannot be a Jesus because he knew no sin. It's over. And the way he said the profound word, I cannot, I can at certain level. So let's put this one that I am just a king, ordinary man, just like you, that God have choose me. Now when I say ordinary man, of course I am chosen by God. So I, 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 I have to tell you that there's something God has given me. So let's do this one that hell and heaven is real and you may end up in hell and you may not remember two-thirds of the people will be cut off that is after the temple will be built even the temple is building there are a lot of jew ignorant stiff neck they're not gonna believe me still there is always certain people they're not gonna believe one it says from the beginning to the end in the there are so many still not going to believe and they're going to end up in hell. But for you, like I said, the book will be open just like in the Daniel chapter 7, 9. Please read. And it says the book will be open and the son will judge everybody according to your deeds. Second question he had, how can we believe you that you are Moshiach? Everything is in Daniel chapter. Everything is in a Daniel chapter if you understand, but it is not for everybody to understand till I tell you. Up to yet, there is no rabbi, there is no pastors telling you or explain to you 7, 9, 7, 13, 12, 13. Nobody is telling you because it didn't happen to them. Ancient one is down on the earth. Ancient one is not the God I told you, like what Tovia have been telling you, that ancient one went up there, or son of man went up there to the ancient one. Now, 
He don't have that revelation. The Son of Man came from above to see the Ancient One. Ancient One is not the God. Now that revelation, till that don't go in your head, you cannot understand the Torah at all. Now your Rambam told you, your Rambam said that if the Moshiach is a Daniel, then he is from the dead. That's who I am, second son of King David Daniel. That God had promised from his own loin, his from her own loin, remember. God didn't promise Solomon. God told him that if you keep the commandments, I'm going through the third questions about the commandments that he was talking about, the Usher Meza. He was more focusing on those 613 commandments. So now, let me tell you about the 613 commandments. If there was a 613 commandments, he would told Solomon. Solomon, keep my 613 commandments. No, he didn't say that one. He said, just, your father kept the commandments. <clears throat> And I believe that time he probably know the Ten Commandments, what Moses gave it to him. And he told him, if you keep those commandments, then I will keep secure your throne. But God also knew it because he's omnipotent, all-knowing, everywhere. He knew it, that Solomon is not able to fulfill those commandments. <clears throat> Even the Ten Commandments. He start intermarry other woman and he start worshipping those idols and he start uh, 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 doing the things he's not supposed to do and he went spiral down. Now, <clears throat> about the hell and heaven also, one more thing. Solomon said, Solomon said, if you read in Ecclesiastes, the last scripture of the book of Ecclesias, it says, stay in the middle course. Don't go too far, don't go too bad, too good, too bad. Stay in the middle course. I can read that scriptures, let me read that scriptures. That way you will know what is about. This is what Ecclesiastes, the conclusion of the, the fear God and keep his commandment, for this is the whole duty of man. For God will bring every deed into judgment, including even hidden things, whatever it is good or evil. Remember. This is what God is going to do. He is going to judge. So here, the question about the hell I gave you, Solomon didn't keep the commandments. God knew it. It is not easy to keep all the commandments. And I haven't heard 613 commandments in the Torah that God gave me. And also about the question about if I'm a Jew and they want to convert me into Judaism, let me tell you, if I tell you I am the Shiloh, I am the son of man, I am the Daniel, I am the branch, I am the son of King David, that makes me already whatever you want to be as a Jew. My forefather must be a Jew. They came from the tribe of Judah because I am from the tribe of Judah when I said I am the son of King David. And that proves also that I am the one, your Moshiach. Now, again, I told you, when you read the Daniel chapter, the revelation I give you, they cannot give you. Son of man came to me, I saw in the daytime. The visions, what Daniel was seeing, all this vision that I have seen. And Daniel was talking about future, the future that 
the Son of Man will come and rest upon him or lead him into his presence because that is the thing was going to happen to the Daniel. God showed it to him on his time. And also God promised him to come back as for you on Daniel 12, 13. As for you, go your way until the end. You will rest at the end of the days. You will rise again to receive your inheritance. He is the only one in the Torah going to receive the inheritance, which is son of King David, which is your Moshiach. The Moshiach also will inherit and sit on the throne forever and ever. Now remember again, Jesus said he is the source of King David and his inheritance that doesn't make him son of King David. Remember that. So I am your son of King David to come. So I guess you getting me one question the hell who I am, why am I telling you and why you should believe me. This time you have a chance to believe by faith, your faith. He wants to see now how strong your faith is. You don't want to hear that, that Moshiach do miracles. I can't do miracles because you ask for that. I wish you could have, you didn't ask for that and I could have performed some miracles. I've been asking God, why would you do this? He said, be patient, be patient. And I've been patient. And I've been telling you, miracles will happen. Bigger miracles will happen. Then Moses, big miracles will happen when you believe me. Have faith in me. If you believe the Father, then believe the Son. Remember what he says in the uh, when he promised the King David. Your son will be my son and I will be his father. Your son will be my son and I will be his father. That makes me his son. No matter once he said that I am his son, I am his son. You cannot say that. You cannot say that. Because that revelation didn't come to you. God have choose me and only me. Now, how I'm going to be on the throne, I have no idea. But one thing I tell you, what God revealed me. This is the time to build the temple. If you do not build the temple, this is what will happen again in the Daniel chapter 924 to 927, the end time prophecy. It says 60 to 7 will be passed and anointed one will be cut off, but not for the people. Read, let's read 924, 7, and then you will know what does it say. Ezekiel 9.8.6 Okay. 9.24.7 Okay. Know therefore and understand that the from it's a 25. 9.25 the, the going forth of a commandment to restore and to build the Jerusalem until the Messiah the prince shall be seven weeks and three course, <coughs> excuse me, and two weeks. The street shall be built again and the well, even troublous time. So what is telling you on that scriptures that Messiah will come that time it's still we are preparing. We are preparing to make everything strong. And they are preparing strong. But they are not going to win till the Moshiach will come. You can run. You can run as much as you want. But till Moshiach nothing will happen. Now listen what does it say. And after three quarters and two weeks. Which is 62. Shall Messiah be cut off. But not for himself. And the ruler will rise. 
which is same thing what they're talking about in Revelation chapter. 60 to 7 will pass, the anointed one will be cut off, not for the people. If you don't believe me right now, then Revelation chapter will be open. And three and a half years later, which is when I will be age of 62, right now I'm at 59. We have a three and a half years, four years right now, good four years to 60 to 7 to build the temple. Even build the temple or not to build the temple, these four years is very important. If you build the temple, you will see what you, what the Torah said about you all, the Jewish Messiah will come, which is son of King David. Like I told you, Jesus wasn't the son of King David. I am the son of King David. That's what you're looking for, and I am here. So, if you read that one, 60 to 7 will pass. I am, nine, I am right now 59 years old. I'm going to be 62 on 4, 7, 62, which is very important birthday. So from there also, if you count till 62, it's a three and a half years. But if you count right now, we can start building is four years, just like on the Solomon time. It will take four years to build the temple. Then you will see the Messianic age and still remember the two-thirds of the people will be cut off. Maybe it's not you. Maybe the, the rest of the world. I don't know. But the thing is, at this point, I am giving you revelation after revelation after revelation. And if you cannot understand, then take the bucket of water and drown yourself. Because that's what's going to happen to you because of your stiff neck and ignorant of not believing me. Now, it is a powerful thing I'm telling you when I said. Just like what Jesus said, the profoundly I am the way, the truth and life. No one can come to the Father except me. You have the same scriptures because he point to me because this time I am here for you. You have to go through King David's son to the Father. I can go on and go on and go on, but I want you to remember that those are the questions he asked. I do not have to convert. I am already Jew. I am already circumcised, circumcised by flesh and the heart. Because son of man is rest upon me. And he's the one going to build the temple. I told you again and again on the past. Now let me go through some different thing to make you understand what God have revealed me in past week. Before that, let me tell you, I had told you about six to eight months ago that coronavirus is not going away. Because you're going to have a one after one after one after one, just like the hurricane have a name. They are putting the name after name after name, the Corona. Then it comes to Delta variant. Now they come to Lambda. But one of the plague that I told you six to eight months ago, if you watch my one of the video, that the worms going to come out from the body, white color worms, black color worms, from your body, you will feel like the worms are crawling in your body. All those things will come. And let me tell you, maybe you don't know, but it's already here in United States. Read, watch, that's called Morgellon. The disease called Morgellon, 20,000 USA already have, and it's gonna get faster and faster if you don't. Put me on my throne because those plagues will come just like happened in the past. So those are the things is continue going. Now, right now, it seems like everything quiet again. I told you it seems like very quiet, but we are approaching closer and closer and closer. The month of all is very close and the, the Rosh Hashanah, the new year. Now, 
I don't know where you're going to find your Moshiach. If you don't find, if you're not going to put me in, if you don't find your Moshiach, you cannot build the temple. And like I said, the B plan will be open. It's ready. Ready to open that B plan. Because we do not have too much time. Now, let me go and explain to you about the Shiloh to the son of men, to the son of King David, to the son of, no, let's put this way, scenario A. Scenario A is Jewish people are right. Jewish people are right. If, if they're right, then whatever it says in Shiloh will come in Genesis 49.10, then the son of King David will come, which is same as Shiloh. Daniel will come, which is son of Shiloh, son of uh, Shiloh, son of man, and son of King David. The branch will come, which is Joshua, is same as son of God, uh, son of man. So all those things you know, they're written in the Torah, and the building will be build through the Moshiach, it says, it says he will be there. And all those things will happen. That is one. Let's see scenario B. Scenario B was maybe you were wrong in the past and really whatever it happened to the Jesus, he died and rose again and sitting in the, in the right hand of the father. And he said he was a son of man. Maybe that same son of man or Shiloh, like you said, that Moshiach come each and every generation. Let's put the scenario. I always tell you, he comes in the beginning and the end. But let's see your scenario that he comes each and every generation. So tell me, who was he? In your generation, if anybody, anybody out of, from, from a Daniel's son, which is, I mean, King David's son, it has to come in the future, all the way down. So do the Daniel supposed to come all the way down. The Joshua supposed to come all the way down when the temple has to be built. So the son of man, only we heard either in Daniel chapter or we heard in the New Testament that he said he was son of man and he is the only one can come from up and go up. So maybe he went up there and sitting in the right hand and then he is the one coming up and down each and every generation. I don't know, but that's what looks like. That's, look, that's what looks like the Shiloh goes up and down. He's the only one can go up and down. And he's the probably came at that time. And now he came for you this time. I hope you understand what I'm talking about. Scenario A, that your, your prophecy will be fulfilled if you accept me. That time, whatever happened, it's happened for them and it's done. Now, this time, you're going to have to accept me because the same son of man came from above and rest upon me. And I hope you understand. And through him, I am doing the work. That is scenario A, scenario B, scenario C is if you don't believe the Revelation chapter will open just like in Zechariah chapter says, while you are building the temple, there will be no jobs and wages. People, have, people were hungry, there will be wars. And all those things will happen. We build the temple or we do not build the temple. If you build the temple, you are blessed because through you and me, so many people will come to know that Torah is correct. And he's giving you chance this time. Do not be ignorant. I'm telling you, be obedient this time. Be obedient and believe 
in his son that he has sent me the two prophet we talk about in Torah in Zechariah chapter 3 the two lambs the two anointed ones those two anointed one is going to be in revelation if you do not understand me right now and accept me now wait another thing when he said about the hell I need to go back again when he said the hell the two prophet okay how God God wants to save the whole world God cannot throw anybody out he created all this soul he hold the soul he hold the soul and he can he can give it back also just like I told you that I have power to lay down myself and I have a power to raise myself he hold the power and the hell thing that he will judge everybody I told you and I'm sorry I just got lost but let's put that one on the side maybe God just won't, don't want me to reveal you again like I said that he time to time he don't want me to go further more so anyway so this two prophet I guess he just came back so he said this is what will happen he will he want to save the whole world and how it's gonna happen how it's gonna happen let's see you don't believe me right now that I am your Moshiach then this is what will happen the two prophet will just like when I said in the Daniel chapter the ruler will rise the ruler will rise and the ruler will kill these two anointed one and they both will be rise again on the third day. That day the whole world will see. Whole world will see on the internet, on the TV that two prophets die and rose again and most of the world people will come to know Whatever happened in the past was correct. The son of man did not die. It is a Shiloh. And he, they are going power of who? With whose power they are going up. And that day the whole world, most of the world will come to know. And they will believe the God. And then, it says in then, after that, when they die and rose again, after that, he is coming with his angels and 144,000 to uh, take this with a sickle, take the crop, which is the resurrection of the death. That's what gonna happen. So the hell and heaven is real, but he just not going to throw the good soul. Even they are Hindu or they are Christians or they are Muslim. There are a lot of good people. And there are a lot of bad people. And those bad people is never going to change. It says in the Daniel chapter, many will come and purified and made spotless. But there are several more people. They not even come close to that. Those people will be thrown out. They will be in the hell. But God had promised you, your forefather, that I love you. He said that you are my chosen one. You are my possession. You are my precious one. You are the, the, the light of the world. You are the beacon of the world. You will be rule and reign. One Ten Gentiles will hold the one Jew hand and say, let's go see the Lord in Jerusalem. All those things will happen. All you have to do is accept me. Accept me. Believe me. Let's go start build the temple. I don't know whom am I talking to. 
who am I talking to or somebody is not giving my message to right people or like I say, it's on the guard time. I just have to wait. There was one comment came in and about maybe four months ago and he said, he, he, he gave me some good words, son, be patient. It will happen on his time. Now, who was it? I don't know. But he was the first one to give me the right advice. Means I take the advice. I'm not above you all. Except he chose me. But I am not above you all. I am just like you ordinary guy. I don't keep 613 commandments because I don't know. I do not have those commandments anymore. I don't feel like to do anything right now. Other than I want to be with him. I want to be with him. I want to see. I want to see more and more about him. I want to be less about this flesh. I do not want anything. I do not want money. I do not want nothing of this world. Because I know the things going to come is much better than this world. And we are all going to have fun. We are, listen, God do not want that we are all going to be a serious. He wants to have all those movies, all those uh, food. What? He's going to have a kosher, then we are not going to have a spicy food. We are going to make everything kosher. Let's have everybody eats everything. Let's try everybody's food. Everybody cook good. All these things will happen. What, he did not want family? Of course he wants family. He, he wants that we have a, a son and daughters and, and, and the family wife. But how all those things going to look? That only I know. You don't. Because when your eyes will open, you will see very clear everything. Now, right now, the devil is all around. Satan is all around. He knows who I am and he is taking me and he will take me. But fear of the Lord is the beginning of the knowledge and that's what I have. Faith comes by hearing, hearing by the word of God. Read the word of God from Torah to Bible. Do not ignore any word of this book. When God gave me that book, he just didn't give me a Torah. It was a Bible together, the New Testament, the Old Testament together. Again, I tell you that I didn't get the Bhagavad Gita or Quran. I didn't get those things. So I cannot tell you anything about that. I cannot. Other than I know that Muslim believes that Mehdi is coming. Their Mehdi is coming and your Ben David is coming. Now maybe I don't know that maybe it will be Joseph. I have no idea. But according to me, the way they explain the Mehdi, their Mehdi is the same function as Ben David. Now the Ben Joseph may be somebody else that I don't know. Maybe those Rambam or Rabbi in Israel probably know. Now there are a lot of Rabbis are talking about their Moshiach or Moshiach is in Israel. No, he is not in Israel. I told you again and again, he is in exile. I am with you over here in the United States. You have to go with me. You're not going to go to Israel till you're going to find your Moshiach. And if he's in uh, Israel, it will be too late for you also to go to the Israel. Trust me, it won't happen. But it will happen when you believe me and five to six million people will get out from United States. Then the all over the world will come also. That day you will know Whatever is written is true. But you are not going nowhere because your Moshiach is not in Israel right now. The Spirit of Lord is raised upon me and he is right now in United States in Sugarland, Texas. Now, 
My friend Tobia is coming this week. I hope he come and see me. He should be here, I think so, it's Sunday. So I'm sure he'll probably be coming out here Friday or Saturday. I hope he receive my message and I can make him up understand and explain to him that he is wrong and he needs to change and tell the truth that he does not have that revelation of Daniel, so he cannot talk about that. And that way, he should know who's the son of man, who's the Shiloh is. I am the Shiloh, and I am the son of man. Now, like I said, that he may be full again, his place will be full, because most of the people, they believe when somebody comes in their name. But when I come on the name of your father, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and you don't believe me, I'm in Houston, not even one Jew came to me up to yet. So remember. But I think so, I saw one comment, which is from Houston. And so somebody's watching me in Houston. But all over the world, people started to know. And let me tell you, whoever believes me right now, they will be saved. They will know the Father very soon. I am coming and I will take you with me over there. And you may be the part of my team. Not those, those people who knows who I am and they're still not believing and they are against me. Nobody can talk like this profoundly. Jesus said same thing. People ignore him. The parable, the teaching, what he said, I cannot do that. He is totally different level than me. I am just ordinary son of King David. So I cannot say like I said, I have sinned. So all those things, if you put together, put together, you will understand that God is giving you a chance because you are his chosen one and we will build the temple if you come to me, sit down and put your issues on the side. Don't think why I am and why God chose me and I'm a Hindu. But one thing, when he came, I do not worship the idols. That's the only thing he hates about the idols. Everything else, I think so on his time when I will be the king and the priest and when I will go and talk to him or maybe he will give it to us something else. He will reveal us what we need to be done. But everything is created by him. Everything is created by him. So I don't think so he's going to take away everything what he has created. But he will destroy those things which destroy his people. So this is what I want to tell you about the scenario A, B, and C. That things will happen in the Muslim also. Things will happen. Right now I know they, uh, they sacrifice right now. Or, or they are celebrating right now for Ishmael because they believe that Ishmael is the first born son of Abraham and he is the one God told him to sacrifice and when he went to sacrifice the angel of the Lord came in and told Abraham that your faith what you did God believe you, trust you, love you, and you don't need to give your son anymore. And they gave it to him 
the lamb, sacrificed lamb. Now, the Judaism believe that because Abraham and Sarai, Sarai didn't have a son first, and then son was from Hagar, was Ishmael, and then Sarai got the son in late age when the angel of the Lord came and told Abraham that your wife, wife will have a child, and she laughed. And they put her name Isaac because Isaac is the laughter. And then God came to him to make him a sacrifice. But Muslim thinks that it was Ishmael. Jewish people think it was Isaac. Now they both are celebrating right now. So all those things are kind of very close. People love People, God love Ishmael also. And remember, when she was crying, it's in the Torah, it's in the Torah, when she was crying in that wilder names, the Lord came to him and blessed her also, that your son will be blessed also. And no doubt they got the oil in the desert, but they're still blessed. They're still blessed. And so do the Israel. So all those things is, is, is going to be open on his time. God did not want to lose not even single soul. If he can change everybody's mind and bring everybody into the kingdom of heaven, the whole heaven and the kingdom on the earth, will change. Change. Everything will change. Temple has to be built. Come and let's start working on the temple. The whole world will see. Uh, listen, uh, once you choose me, don't worry about the mask right now. We do not have to. It will happen. Even if we open on the side, even if we open on the side, we start working, and when the people will see the God glory, that they, they, they will know that they cannot say no to us to remove everything. Then we can remove. About the Palestinian people, do not worry about, nobody's going to throw you out. You will be there. God is a merciful God. It's just a matter of days. You waited this long, wait a little bit longer. He's coming. And he is coming because that is his dwelling place. There is his dwelling place. And he will take care of everybody. I hope today's message make you understand. Come to know that God has sent me. I am not what people think I am. I am not your fake Moshiach. I am your real Moshiach. You are not going to find. Do not listen to nobody. And if they put somebody wrong, then you will see and you will know what will happen. But that is not the plan I see in the Torah or in the Bible. I don't see that. I don't see that you will put the wrong person. You will put the right person, but the things will still happen because the Satan is still loose till we bind him forever and ever. Till that, we're going to have a wars no matter what we do. Because end comes with the flood and war. That's what the word says. I hope again you understand I pray for you all of them. I pray for you all of them. Hindu, Muslim, Sikh, Isai, Jew, uh, everybody, everybody. I love you all. Father loves you. Father has sent me this time. Come to know me and things will change. If you like this video, please put thumbs up, write me comments, 
say something that you are watching my video tell everybody that that you saw my video and I think so what you think and tell them tell everybody do on your FaceTime on your social media tell everybody I see on my one of the videos 159,000 all those people if tell everybody God will fulfill his plan Thank you very much and God bless you everybody and we'll see you very soon in Jerusalem.